that. Um, now, I guess the question is, is why am I obsessing? Why am I obsessing over the movement here? Your gold, you know what I'm saying? Gold is probably not the most in, important rank to be focusing on movement. Um, however, what's the thing with movement? Is movement relevant sometimes or is movement relevant always? I mean, pretty much yeah. all the time because yeah. it changes your shots. Right. Right. It's it's every single team fight. So to me, it's like, why not start practicing it now if you want to? Because there's, there's, ne there's not going to be a single team fight where thinking about movement's not going to be helpful. So I want you to, I'm going to slow this down really quick here. So I want you to look at who the far is looking at right now. So who's the far shooting at right now? I don't know, like my sports? Yeah, so, someone way back there. Okay, Bastion. She's not shooting at you. Nobody's shooting at you. So... Let's go to your POV right here, and I'm going to slow it down to 0 0.25, and I want you to watch yourself move. You see the problem with the first little bit there? Yeah. What were you doing? I was like, uh, I was moving to the left, like, as I shot. Yeah, you were 80-80 you were strafing like you were 1v1-ing a Widow. Now, normally, movement is really important. You don't stand still. That's what bronze players do. Well, sometimes. See, the thing with movement is it's really important that you're able to do good strafe and good movement, whatever, depending on who you're shooting, right? Or depending on who you're playing against, right? However, your problem here is that was anybody shooting at you at all? Or was there any threat of anybody shooting at you? Who is the far looking at? You see what I'm saying? So yeah. then my question is, what does ad strafing do? It just messes up your aim, you see? And there's no benefit. Yeah. And also, this, by the way, if you guys, if you want to get really, really advanced, how you AD, AD strafe also depends on what you're one v oneing as well. So if we look back at your strafing here, you got maybe have a Sigma or a Farah shooting at you, right? That's what you're worried about, right? So look at your AD strafing right here. Back and forth, these tiny little like I mean, we could even, we'll do better than that. We'll actually show you from their perspective. So watch your movement right here. Tell me what's wrong with your movement here. For far, it's too, it's too tight. If you're if you're one v oneing a far or a sigma, they're projectile heroes, right? So they're just going to spam right in center mass, and they're going to hit you over and over and over again. They're not going to miss a single bullet. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so this eighty eighty yeah. strafing is better if you were one v oneing what? If you you would want an eighty eighty strafe like this if you were fighting what? Like an ash, right? Or... Ash widow, something like that. But if you got something bigger bullets, bigger projectiles, you want, or like even like a Hanzo, you want more long, broad, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left. You know what I'm saying? Longer strafes. So here's what I would practice. Do you know? You know, try hard deathmatch, right? Yeah. Try. So what I would do is I get in a try hard, and I would practice. I wouldn't even practice my aim. I'd get in there and just, you know, click whatever. But every 1v1 that you get into, make the read of who you're 1v1-ing and then move depending on who you're 1v1-ing. So there's a lot of Genjis in, in Tryhard Deathmatch, right? So Genji, if you do these tight little 80, 80, 80, 80 strafes, where is he going to aim the shurikens? <laughs> Yeah, he just like points out the head and right. He's gonna, make them he's gonna aim right down the middle, and you're just gonna strafe into every single one of them, right? So if you do this kind of movement versus a Genji, you're gonna get destroyed. So you see Genji, how do you move? How do you strafe and try hard? Like wider, right? Uh, Long, a little bit longer strafes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So then you see Genji. All right. Now what about Tracer? You see Tracer? What about Tracer? I mean. Think quicker, right? A little bit quicker, but again, would you do tight, 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 tight? No. No, because again, she's not a one shot, like a click, click, click here. She's a tracking hero. So she's going to aim again center mass and hit most of her bullets. So for you, similar to Genji, you might start to do kind of longer strafes. And if you want to get even further detail, when would you shoot? Would you shoot while you're strafing or would you shoot at the end of every strafe? You kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah. Would you. Like right before I shoot it. Right, right. So you'd go. Sh Strafe, shoot, strafe, shoot, strafe, shoot, strafe, shoot, strafe, shoot. You know, you'd shoot at the very end of every single strafe, not in the middle of the movement, right? So that would be something versus Genjis and Tracers. Okay, there's Cassidy's, right? How do you 1v1 a Cassidy and try her deathmatch? How do you move? Like, you know, quicker and like probably some crouches and stuff. Right, right. You would move exactly like you moved right here, right? Right? Exactly like this, where you're throwing off your aim a little bit, but you're throwing off his aim just as much. Do you see what I'm saying? 
Um, yeah. And the same thing would go versus the Ashes. The same thing would go versus the Widowmakers. If you see a Sojourn in there, Sojourn would be a little bit in between where you want to do these long strafes, but when she's got her rail gun, then you start doing your little juki jukies. You kind of see what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So if you're talking about how do you translate that from a Vaxa into this, well, it's hard in Vaxa because they, they don't really shoot back in a way that's like actually feels scary. You know what I'm saying? So what I would do is I'd go in a tryhard, and depending on if you're playing an Ana, a Zenyatta, a Genji, a Tracer, a Soldier, a Cassidy, practice, I see that hero, this is how I move. And you do that over and over and over again. Maybe do that for every warm-up. You see what I'm saying? And so what happens is you get into a game like this, you see a Genji, you're, you're not even thinking. Your body just automatically starts to move in a certain way. You kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that would be a skill that you could practice. Um, and not only would it help your aim a little bit, but it would help your mechanics. It would help your movement a lot. Like I bro I did that with crouching um, as like Ana. Uh, and I, I like a re-key bound. And I just practice it and try hard over and over again. And I broke my spam jumping habit by using try hard deathmatch. So I would really recommend you do that. Now, are you going to get a lot of practice versus some heroes? No, there's going to be mostly Genjis and Tracers and Anas and, and things like that. Um, so you won't be able to get practice versus every hero, but at least a lot of the heroes you're going to get good practice on. So I, I would recommend that one. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So remember the, the big thing is just like, is this, do I need to be doing tight little jukes or longer jukes? I, I don't think you need to overthink it a lot more than that. Here's a question for you. We really want to dig deep here. We're really going to the movement here. There's the rail. Okay. Do you need to move? Uh, yeah. Need... I, mean, I was trying to just like jiggle peek this corner. Do you need to strafe either of these guys when she doesn't have railgun that much? No. Right. You kind of see what I'm saying? Now, if the Genji starts throwing shurikens and landing triple headshots, so yeah, maybe we need to start moving a little bit. But they're not even that looking at you. And there's no, this isn't Widow. This isn't Ash. This isn't as in Yada right click. This is, just stand still and get the kill. So right now, you're 80 80 strafing two targets that you don't need to be worried about at this range. And they're not even shooting you. Do you kind of see what I'm saying? So yeah. you, hit, you hit the shot. Nice job. But you made it harder than you needed to. To me, this is something that we need to work on. There's the movement we like to see, right? Sojourn with ult. How do you move? Yeah, quicker. Right. You do that. You do the eighty eighty strafing, and I think in general your movement tends to be autopilot. When you autopilot on movement, you tend to be those quick, quick eighty 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 strafes. So you've got like this internal uh, defense system that's really pretty good versus Cassidy's widows, Ashes, Sojourns with railgun, um, and so on. But it's not very good against other heroes. So. Yeah, and I think like yeah, cause, like I do like actively like. A lot of the time when I go against like an Ash or a Widow, I try to like think. Yeah. I don't think I like do that same thing like at the, <sighs> like to other targets. Yeah, 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 exactly. Go. Well, it's also kind of not, it's not also super obvious until you think about it. Like movement for me is something that, to be honest with you, I'm really bad at. Like I'm really, truly bad at. Like I, I, I autopilot the same thing that you do. I do the 80, 80, 80 spam strafing and then I wonder why the Sigma's hitting every shot. I mean, I'm like, oh, wait. I, I need obviously, you know. So it's 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 not it's not a very easy thing to practice. Um, and then obviously, by the way, there's there's the other etc. Outliers right there. Like if you want to be wanting a Moira, you must don't even need to move at all, right? Cool. That that's pretty good movement right there, right? You missed the shots, but you notice how little you were moving. Yeah. You didn't need to. She wasn't looking at you. So. But this one is actually funny because this is obviously you didn't know it at the time we had to talk about it first but now you know knowing what you know now right how should you move earth versus this hero right now it did the long ones and right the, right turns bright right and... right exactly she's 49 charged right now you could be doing some long strafes right now and hit more shots so like the movement is going to be a big one because to me that's something that you can also practice not just in your rank games, right? Uh, you practice that in your warm up. Practice that in your try her deathmatch. Practice that in your aim training. Um, but I think that's going to be helpful a lot because I, I think movement, at least in Overwatch, movement mechanics are two different things. But in Overwatch, they they're very, very, very closely tied together. You kind of see what I'm saying? Like the best players at aiming are also the best players at movement um, because good movement makes good aiming and it makes bad aiming for the enemy team. Um, so I would put that as a priority to practice at least in try hard. And then if you want to go into your rank game and practice your corner usage, practice testing with high noon for a while, that that's fine for me. But at the very least, when you are in your, your aim training, your warm up, let's work on that movement. And I think try hard is probably going to be the best way to practice it because you're going to actually get 
to play against people that actually shoot and kill you. You know what I'm saying? Um, rather than just bots that look like they're shooting and kill you, but they're not shooting and kill you. So you don't really get any feedback on how your movement is. Do you kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Vax is great for warming up, but if you need to practice movement, I think Vax is, just doesn't really do a whole lot.